A tower crane moves building materials up to construction crews working above the ground. The operator's cabin is near the top. Just above that is the jib, which hoists the load and trolleys it back and forth. The jib and cabin rotate on a turntable called a slewing platform. A crane's tower is modular, meaning the more tower sections installation crews add, the taller the crane. At the crane factory, workers construct the slewing platform by welding together huge steel plates and square tubes. Welders also fuse sections of ladder to sections of safety cage. Then they weld each ladder and cage unit to a tower section. Throughout the assembly process, robots perform the simpler welds. Once all the crane's structural components are welded, they go to the paint shop for an anti-corrosion primer, then a top coat of paint. After each application, the part dries in an oven for about an hour at 80 degrees Celsius. The slewing platform sits on a turning mechanism that consists of two concentric rings with ball bearings in between. Computer-guided machines grind teeth on the outside and grooves on the inside, in which the bearings will ride. After lubricating the grooves, workers install the outer ring around the inner one. Then they fill the groove with steel balls and high-strength plastic spacers. This allows the outer ring to revolve smoothly around the stationary inner ring. The operator cabin is made of steel panels. It's integrated into the slewing platform. The cabin's large windows enable the operator to view how the jib is maneuvering the load. The crane's controls are built right into the cabin seat. The seat itself is designed to be as comfortable as possible because you can't step out of the cab to stretch your legs. A motorized gear rotates the slewing ring, which rotates the slewing platform supporting the crane's cabin and jib. The factory's computer-guided machining equipment makes all the parts for this gear, as well as for the gears which enable the jib to hoist and trolley the load. Workers assemble the slewing gear and mount the motor that drives it. Then they connect the slewing gear to the slewing ring and mount the ring on the slewing platform into which they've installed the cabin. An automatic greasing system keeps the ring's teeth lubricated as it rotates the platform. After an extensive test, they install the tower head on top of the cabin. Now this entire slewing unit goes off to the construction site. After anchoring the crane's base, the installers use a mobile crane to mount the slewing unit on the tower and the jib onto the slewing unit. Then they add tower sections to build the crane to the required height. An elevating device lifts the slewing unit, clearing enough space underneath to insert an additional tower section. They connect the tower sections with giant high-strength bolts. Then repeat this procedure until the crane is as high as it needs to be. Once the crane is fully erected, the operator climbs the tower ladder up to the cabin. As he works, he observes what he's doing through the windows. He also watches a computer monitor, which displays how the jib is hoisting, trolleying, and depositing the load. He can communicate with the ground via phone or walkie-talkie, so things are never left up in the air.